And God is saying, "Mm -mm, if I'm going to bring you out, you got to let go of every idol, every idol. Whether that idol is your marriage, there are a lot of people, and you might say, well, Deborah, how can somebody do that? Make their marriage an idol because they care more about the marriage and more about what people think about the marriage than what they care about, than they care about what God says about the marriage. Okay. So that you you make an idea of the th- uh, idol out of even the thought of being married. Listen, this message might take some time over the next few weeks, but um, we're going to get it done, right? He says, you shall not make for yourself, verse four again, any idol or any likeness, form or manifestations of what is in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the water under the earth as an object to worship. You shall not worship them nor serve them for I, the Lord, your God, I am a jealous, impassioned God demanding, I'm demanding, it says, what is rightfully and uniquely mine. If he's bringing us out, of the things that the enemy had used to uh, hold us down, to keep us in, in captivity. He said, know who I am. I am the Lord, your God. Remember who I am. Else you'll go right back to that place that he set you free from. This is a message of love. It really is. He says, listen, I want, I'm demanding what is rightfully and uniquely mine. And I am visiting, I am avenging the iniquity, the sin, the guilt of the fathers on the children that is calling the children to account for the sins of their father to the third and the fourth generation of those that hate me. But I am showing uh, graciousness and steadfast loving, uh, loving kindness to thousands of of generations, thousands of generations. This is a love message. This is a love message because we love our children.